Let's move now to another major milestone for a COVID-19 vaccine. Moderna is going to submit its application for an emergency use authorization to the FDA today, starting the formal review process and moving one step closer to public use. Moderna's president says everyone feels the pressure of this moment. This is clearly the most important point prior to making the vaccine broadly available. We have to compile all the data from these large phase three studies that prove the vaccines are safe and effective and submit it to regulators, including the FDA in the United States, to make sure that we can have authorization to distribute it to people. Moderna says analysis of its vaccine found 196 confirmed cases of COVID-19 among the trial's 30,000 participants. 185 of those were in the placebo group, just 11 were in the group that received the vaccine, an efficacy rate of 94.1%. Another encouraging sign, no one who received the vaccine developed a severe case of COVID-19. In a reminder of what's at stake, one person in the placebo group died from COVID-19. And there have been no serious safety concerns. And the side effects that have been reported have been mostly the local, you know, injection associated reactions that people get with many vaccines. Those include aches and pains, occasionally sometimes headaches, pain at the injection site. Experts want people to be prepared for those side effects, which typically went away in a day or two. Moderna's vaccine has one advantage over Pfizer's. It can be stored in regular freezers or refrigerators, easing one challenge of a massive distribution effort. Ultimately, it is the FDA's call whether to approve this authorization, but if they do, we'll immediately start deploying the vaccine in the public. Now, of course, Pfizer was the first to submit its data to the FDA. The agency will be meeting to discuss that vaccine on December 10th. So Moderna expects its review to happen mid to late December. But if either vaccine is granted an emergency use authorization, the first doses of that vaccine would be shipped out to the states, we're told, within 24 hours of approval.